Hi everyone, we just landed in Zurich. So we flew red eye direct from New York to Zurich and we are here bright and early checking into our hotel. So we are jet lagged, but we're excited for this time in Zurich. So this is the room that my husband and I are staying in. Nice little sitting area, little office desks to do some work, bright and airy. It was a beautiful day when we arrived. Sunshine and mild, like high 30s, low 40s. This was mid-March. And then we booked an adjoining room on the other side for our kids so we could all spread out. So this is the trusty travel bag that I brought, my MZ Wallace gym bag. You guys know I rave about it. It has been all over Asia and Europe with me. This is my husband's Troubadour backpack, which is new to him, and it was really great for this trip. You know, I'm not much of a travel vlogger. You guys know if you've been with me for a while, my family and I, we travel a lot, but I don't vlog often, so I'm going to try my best with this one. This is my kids' room. They also have a little sitting area, which was nice because we were tired and we ordered room service for the evening and we were able to sit out in our pajamas and just eat over there really comfortably. So I tend not to whip out my camera when I'm with my family because I want to stay present and I don't want to be vlogging all the time. But it's also nice to be able to capture these moments and to share with you guys and also create a bit of a diary for myself on this channel. This is steps outside of our hotel, beautiful little area. I notice a lot of people taking photos here. And then you have these trolley trains running through the city. Very efficient. Everything about Switzerland was so efficient. We found this local bookshop. If you guys know me, you know I'm an avid reader and so are my kids and my husband. So we picked up some books here for the train rides. There will be a lot of train rides on this trip. So we wanted re reading material and spring was fully in swing by the time that we arrived. You can see all the colorful flowers in bloom and it was before Easter so you still have all the Easter decorations up. But we just sort of roamed around freely and then to this German beer hall, like very traditional and you can see all the different varieties of foods. We are not picky eaters and we're pretty adventurous eaters so this was fairly standard fare for us. This is a shot of the hotel, the Hotel Storkin. You can see the storks on the wall frame there. Then the very next day we head to the train station. We packed up again and we were taking the train out to Kerr which was about an hour out and then from Kerr we were going to hop on to the Glacier Express. So Kerr was just sort of like a transfer point. So this is the Glacier Express. This is something that my husband and I have been wanting to do for a long time now and we were so excited to be able to do it as a family, bring our kids along. Here are the panoramic windows inside the Glacier Express. It was beautiful. We had a full course meal on the train. It was a six hour ride from Kerr to Zermatt, which was our final destination. But the six hours honestly flew by. So this is the Glacier Express on the outside. They make a pit stop midway through so you can take in all the beautiful views and breathe in the fresh air. I mean, the mountains were just so majestic. We took some family photos and then we arrived in Zermatt. And this is exactly what it looks like when you arrive. You walk around this quaint little town, little shops, and then all the resorts are sort of scattered around. So we were waiting for our resort taxi and all the taxis here look like little mini trolley buses, super cute. So our resort has a complimentary uh, taxi pickup service for us and all of our luggage. So we hopped on and we went to our resort, but it was so close, like a 10 minute walk. So from then on for the next few days, we just walked everywhere. This is our room. So my husband and I stayed in this room. And again, we booked another room adjacent connected uh, for our kids. So this was a sitting area, my perfect Place. I loved it to sit, take in the views, look at this right outside of our window and our balcony. There was just ugh, all of this gorgeousness. We went to a local restaurant just to fill our stomachs and fuel up. We, of course, had to have the cheese fondue because when in Switzerland, right? <laughs> Food was amazing. All the seafood, lobster spaghetti, all this gorgeous soups, and it was good, really good. 
in the mornings we had breakfast at the resort so we had breakfast buffet they had honey direct from the honeycomb which i just loved because i'm a huge fan of tea and honey in my tea so yeah and then you had a lot of fresh salmon fish and uh, cheese we had so many different kinds of cheese uh, so of course swiss cheese <laughs> a lot of it uh, and then we hit the mountains the slopes it was a snowy day and we went family sledding. Yeah, that's my son. And this is my daughter. Pretty sure here she does a bit of a face plant. <laughs> so we just sled for hours. It was really fun. And I didn't even bring my warmest coat, but it was pretty warm with my layers, so it was fine. You hear the snow? It was gorgeous. I loved being up here. And then after a day of sledding, we went to the resort spa and pool, which was really nice. So you can go out into the heated pool, swim around. My kids loved soaking in the bubbles and taking in the mountain views. It was lovely. And the next day, it was super sunny and clear. So it was the perfect day to go skiing. And that was kind of like the highlight of our time in Zermatt. So we went skiing and we went skiing with views of the Matterhorn in the background. You might have seen my post on my YouTube community page. It was amazing, amazing. So my husband and my son, they're pretty advanced skiers. So they went on the bigger slopes. My daughter and I got proper ski lessons so we can kind of get better really. Um, and so we were on the easier or smaller slopes, but we were right here, right next to the Matterhorn. We skied literally right here. It was gorgeous. So my husband and son would go on the slopes over here. That's my son. And then they would swing over to the other side and come visit us. And it was like that for like five or six hours. And then we took in the views at the end of the day. I mean, how absolutely amazing is this? I could sit here for hours. And then we head back to our resort and more beautiful views right outside our room. I mean, Zermatt was amazing. It was hard to leave, but after three days, we took the train out to the next part of our trip, which was to Milan. Now, I've been to Italy about four or five times, but never to Milan and certainly not as a family. So we were really excited. I was reading my book and we had some snacks and water. It was a very comfortable ride. This is the book that I shared a while back. I finished it on this trip and all of the trains were comfortable, whether we were in first class or not. It was just great all around. I did grab my pochette Matisse last minute to bring on this trip, which I'm really glad I did. It was perfect. We landed in, or arrived, I should say, in Milan. Totally different vibe, right? Hustle bustle. We check into our hotel. I love this hotel. It's the Park Hyatt. And you'll see it's beautiful. This is where we had breakfast every morning. But aside from the ambiance and the decor, it was so amazingly located. I'll show you in a minute. But this is our room for my husband and I. And then again, adjoining was for our kids. So right over here through the door is for my kids. The ceilings in this hotel are really high. So everything feels much bigger and roomier and just more spacious, which is unusual for Europe because a lot of European hotels are a little bit stuffy feeling in my opinion. This was the gorgeous bathroom. I was smitten with the stonework. Just look at the stone. I wanted to just take a snapshot of this vanity in my memory. And then a little later, we go into our bathroom and it's even nicer. I'll show you. <laughs> but this was a really gorgeous bathroom. My kids were happy. This was a little vanity that my daughter was excited to set up her stuff in. So that was kind of cute. And then we walk through here. So I'm walking through my kids' room. This is a little view. Nice. And then from here, we just kind of keep going through. I just love that we have space to spread out as a family. It's not stuffy. And then here is our bathroom, pretty similar to my kid's bathroom, but it has a double vanity. Oh my gosh. I just think it's so pretty. I really enjoyed it. And then here is just a little bar table with some drinks and fruits and snacks. And right outside, literally right outside, like maybe 10, 15 steps outside is the Galleria. This gorgeous Galleria, famous for its shops. And the architecture is, look at it. It's, it's so beautiful. A lot of people. This was the bookshop inside the Galleria called Rizzoli. Of course, it was our first stop. 
I was looking at the books, but I was also people watching this lady in a Gucci trench. And then we have books about bag design and shoe design. This one says it's a fashion business manual. It was very fashion-esque, of course. It's Milan. And then you have all the luxury stores in here. Montclair, Mont Blanc, uh, Louis Vuitton, Dior, Prada, Gucci, Bottega Veneta. I mean, you name it. They're all in here. I also saw a coming soon sign for Leroy Piana. So that'll be coming soon. There were some uh, chocolate shops and restaurants and just it was beautiful to take in. And then we were also just steps from the famous Duomo, the cathedral right outside. This is us heading to dinner. We went to a pretty well-known seafood restaurant called Langosteria. Our concierge at the hotel was like, that's the best seafood restaurant in all of Milan. So we we're like, oh, that's great. It was really delicious. I didn't even take photos of everything we ate because I was too busy eating, <laughs> but I do recommend it. And then I came back just to show you, I was going to use my Atelier's Auguste Mini Monceau bag for most of this trip because I use it a lot for travel and I've taken it with me on many other trips in the past. But I grabbed my Pochette Matisse last minute. I'm so glad that I did because turns out I was just carrying a lot more with me on this trip, including all four of our passports. And you can see there's a size difference. So actually, when I used the Mini Monceau, I felt it was a little tight with all of my stuff. So the Pochette Matisse worked out better. Here's the breakfast buffet with all the beauty. I mean, I'm telling you, the architecture in Europe always gets me. And a uh, lot, a lot of food. A lot of food at the breakfast buffet. So we had to actually walk through a local marathon. We had no idea, but Google Maps had us walking through a local marathon to get to the train station, which was kind of fun. <laughs> we are headed to Lake Como. You just roam around freely. We had no plans. We knew we were just going to eat and walk and take pictures and soak it all in. We went to this pizza place. We ate up some pizza and we roamed and looked at all the little shops, the local leather shops, silk shops, so much eye candy, the cobblestones I love. Spoon. 
Of course, we had to have some local gelato. That was a must. And again, my sneakers, my Saint Laurent sneakers, they held up really well. Just gorgeous. So on the way back, my husband wanted to do a private taxi boat instead of that big ferry boat again, because we wanted just to have our own kind of time and own space to sit comfortably. So this is what we took back and it was so well worth it. The next day, my daughter and I went back out to the Galleria shops to really do some shopping. We didn't go crazy, but we wanted to go into Swarovski. So pretty. So, so pretty. And there was a wonderful sales associate in there who helped us. So we did pick up a couple of pieces, which I will show you in my next video. And then we also went to Prada. And this Prada store was so pretty and all the history behind it. An amazing sales associate uh, helped us in here. And she told me just so much information. So this is actually a newer piece. And... Um, it's kind of like a Boston bag style, right, in nylon. And then the new bucket bags in a variety of different colors. This was the blue color. This is the 1978 re-edition. So it's an original design from way back, 1978. They brought it back. It's in gold hardware. Comes in pink as well. And then there was orange and really, really adorable. They also had the original cashier's desk in this boutique from 1913 so that that was cool this was a really nice display really cute this was downstairs you see the murals show the history of the trunks the prada trunks you don't really think of prada and trunks anymore the way you do with like louis vuitton but it was cool to see the history this is their new raffia collection super adorable here's the bucket bag style here's like a little i don't know like a micro bag it's really cute I have a rule where I don't buy bags where my phone doesn't fit, but of course, I still like to admire from afar. This one was really adorable too, little raffia, kind of like a basket bag, and it has the little triangles, the Prada triangles woven. You see that? The pattern? I thought it was cute. Long, roomy straps. And this one, it's kind of like a card wallet, but I believe it had um, a chain. Yeah, it had a chain. So again, another little micro bag. Adorable. And then these as well, part of the new collection. And this parrot key charm. Kind of cool. Fun. This is an exclusive for the Galleria shop. All this hand-painted artwork. This one also is an exclusive. Only available here. And then I looked at some of the ready-to-wear. So cute. And some of the tableware and also the shoes. So these are the latest uh, edition of the Mary Janes. So they have the flat version and also the little heels. Super cute. Mary Janes are not my thing, but I think they're really adorable. And this color is pretty. And the leather was really soft, by the way, Napa leather. Here are more bucket bags, more nylon bags. This was from the runway, limited edition the embellishments I did pick up something so I promise I'll show you in my next video I'll unbox it and then some chocolates in the Galleria my daughter and I were looking around for some treats to bring back as gifts so we were in here and it was just really fun next door is the Prada foundation as well which we didn't have time to visit the Duomo, the full-on beautiful Duomo from the front. While my daughter and I were shopping, my husband and son went up to the rooftop of the Duomo, took these amazing photos, courtesy of my son. He took these photos. And so we just feel so wonderful to have had made these memories both in Italy and Switzerland. It was a great trip. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.